You know, I figure it's like field stripping a weapon, just repetition, repetition. in today's video i'm actually going to do my first halloween video of this year also this is like a pre-film video because in my other halloween videos my hair will be different so this is kind of like my last video with this year but yeah in today's video i'm going to do my first halloween video of this year i'm really excited for it because we've been playing these looks for the past like two months and i'm finally starting them so in today's look i'm going to do avatar which i'm really excited for because i think last year i was actually going to do it and this year i'm finally doing it which i'm really excited for because i've always wanted to do it after so I'm going to do an Avatar Halloween look today. Also, I kind of have a little bit of decoration in the background. It's not really the best, but I did try my best just because I do have my phone this year for filming. But yeah, this is how my Halloween background is looking like. I got a lot of this stuff from the browser. Yeah, this is how the background is looking like. But I'm going to do my first Halloween look of this year. I'm literally so excited. Also, I'm kind of doing my hair like Avatar and also feathers that I put in it for like, the final result. But I'm kind of doing my hair like that. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to do an Avatar Halloween look. I am so excited for this year. This is my last video with this hair. I'm obsessed with this hair color, but this is my last video with this hair color. Because the next Halloween video is my hair is going to be different. So this is the goodbye to the pink and the orange hair. But there is going to be orange in the other color. Just saying. Reference picture on this thing. But if you guys have never seen Avatar, I'll put pictures right here of like what it looks like. If you guys want to see Avatar, make a blue just keep on watching. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to this video, a big thumbs up, and let's hop right into the video. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some light blue face paint. I think this is from Michaels. This is what I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna take some water and spray it, and I'm gonna paint my whole face blue. So I'm just gonna take some water and spray it. I'm just gonna take my little like paint brush because I wanna ruin none of none of my makeup brushes like I did last year. So I'm just using a paintbrush, and I'm just gonna paint my whole face. Blue. I'm gonna leave the spaces for the contour for I can put the dark blue. So I'm gonna leave these areas like right here. Not with a paint, just because I'm going to add dark blue over it, but I'm just going to paint my whole face blue. I've never used this face paint before, so I don't even know if it's that pretty good. And I also have a Wet n' Wild one that I used last year, but it's completely empty. So this is like a whole new case of blue paint, so I'm just going to paint my whole face blue. I was actually going to do this look last year, but I ended up not doing it because I ran out of time. So I'm just going to paint my whole face blue and I'm also not going to put it on my eyebrows. I think I have another like eight or nine other Halloween looks that I'm doing this year, which I'm really excited for. And this is the first one, which I'm really excited for because I think there's like nine other ones that I'm really excited for because all these Halloween looks that I'm doing this year are like really good. I'm using water to get it all nice and liquidy, but it's, it's looking good right here. It's a lot better. Literally to set up this background, it literally took me like 30 minutes to do. It doesn't really look the best, but I did try my best because last year I had a whole section of the room in my closet, the corner over here that I did my background because I had my camera, but this year I don't have my camera because it broke it, you guys do not see. It's, it looks a little bit weird right now, but trust the progress. A lot more opaque than last year because last year i used the walmart one that was like a dollar and these ones are a little bit they're a little bit more better because i think these are like ten dollars from i think like michael's or something but this paint is so much better than the walmart one i still use it but i kind of want to like upgrade my face paints when i actually do them they actually look good it doesn't really look that bad i'm gonna blend it don't worry i'm gonna blend it right now it looks a little bit patchy but it's looking pretty good And then also blend it down on my neck. I think I'm filming another Halloween video today, but this is like the first one. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning as I do this, so I'm gonna see how long this takes me. Because usually when I do my Halloween looks, it takes me like over an hour to do. So I'm gonna see how long this one takes, because this one should be pretty easy to do but a lot of them take a little bit long because I want them to look really good 
If I take my time, so we'll see how long this takes. I'm also gonna do my hands. It's also a little bit patchy right now, so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend it out. This is also like an old beauty blender, so I don't care if it gets blue over it. But I'm just gonna kind of like blend it out so it's not looking so patchy. Look, it doesn't look bad, it's just looking a little bit patchy. So I'm just gonna use this to blend it out. So we have it so far. So now I'm gonna move on to contour. This is the Wet n Wild face palette. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna be taking out the dark blue right here and contour on with it and then just take my contour brush and just apply it where I would contour that's kind of why I left the spaces kind of blank just because it'd be a lot easier to blend so I'm just going to apply this where I would contour that none of my skin tone is peeking through. Alright, so this is how we're looking like so far. So now I'm going to go back into the dark blue with a little brush and make the dark blue lines because they have lines right here. Also on their foreheads, right here on their cheeks, and then also under their under eyes. So I'm just going to do the dark blue again with a little brush and just kind of like outline it first and then I'm gonna go in with a little pencil brush but I'm just gonna make the little lines on the forehead so something like this and I'm just gonna kind of do them on the forehead so something like this and then also on the cheeks it's kind of like under the contour And then I'm just gonna grab a smaller little brush to make them a little bit more pointed and then also go in with the dark blue to make them a little bit more opaque. So something like this. And then for the under eyes, there's a line right here under the under eyes and then it goes onto their nose. So you just do it under the under eyes and then just go to the nose. Something like this. Looking like something like this actually looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to take a blue pencil and just line my lips with it. You could use face paint, but I'm just going to use this. It's a lot easier. I'm just going to line my lips. So now I'm actually going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just going to use my Morphe pomade to fill in my brows. I'm going to fill in my brows like normal. So now I'm going to put some eyeshadow on. I'm just going to use this blue Sky Lopez. I think I got this from Burlington. I'm just going to take a dark blue right here and put this in my crease. Alright, so now I'm going to go back to the palette. I'm going to take the shade right here and just apply this to my lid i'm really excited for the next three looks because i actually did a diy and mask on them which you guys will see a whole video on which i'm really excited for because i work really hard on them so those are going to be the next three looks i'm just going to say look the nightmare for christmas is a hint if you guys can guess oh but the next three looks are going to be doing which i actually think i'm going to actually film right after this but this is how it's looking like so far. I'm not even like halfway done. Then I'm gonna go back to the wet and wild little face pad. I'm going to take this pretty like baby pink right here and just apply this to the tip of my nose. And then just take on a smaller brush and apply that to my lips. I could use a lipstick 
for this, but I feel like face paint would just be a lot better. So I'm just kind of like patting it. And then I'm gonna go back over the blue line to fix it up. This is how it's looking like so far. And then again with the blue pencil, I'm just gonna go back over the lips with it. The now move on to the fun part is the white dust. I'm just gonna use some white face paint to recreate that dot. I also have this little dotting tool for my art supplies that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use some white face paint. You probably could use white eyeliner, but I feel like face paint would be a lot better. So I'm just gonna use some white face paint and a little dotting tool to create dots. I'm just going to spray it and then just use the little dotting tool to look at the white face paint. Put white dots on pretty much all of my forehead down at my nose and a little bit on my chin but mostly focus it on my forehead like all right here Alright, so now I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow palette and actually take the dark color that I used and use it on a little angle brush and just go back over the little lines and make them a little bit more opaque. Then I'm just going to go back to the palette and take the, the light blue on a little brush and just kind of like add it where you would apply blush to lighten up the face a little bit. Something like this actually that looks pretty good. I'm adding this to brighten up the blue because I feel like the blue is looking a little bit of a teal and I want it to be like a light blue so I'm just kind of adding this to like my cheeks to kind of like highlight a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. I'm actually going to apply some falsies, so I'm just going to apply a little bit. Alright, so pretty much the last step for this look is actually some false eyelashes. You don't have to add false eyelashes, you can leave it like this. But I'm going to add some false eyelashes. These are actually from the Doll Show. These are the Ion 3D Milk Lashes. I'm so obsessed with false eyelashes right now, so I'm just going to apply these. And then I also have the lash glue that goes with it. I know before I used to apply the lash glue to the lashes, but I've learned to actually apply the glue to your eyelids and then apply it. It's so much easier. I don't know why I didn't do it before. But I'm going to apply the lash glue to my lids and then apply the lashes. Also, these are 100 handmade. Look how pretty those are. They're so pretty. Also, these are literally a dollar from the dollar store. So pretty much all I'm going to do is take my lash glue and apply it to my lid. Kind of just like where I would apply the lash band to like my lash line. I'm just going to apply the glue. This is so much better than applying it to the band and then applying them. Apply it here and then do them. It's so much easier. And this is what the lashes look like. They are so pretty. Now I'm just like applying to where I apply the glue. So much easier doing it because they stick on that. Like, look at the difference. Look how easy that was. That's pretty much the lashes. They are so pretty and yeah that is pretty much the final result of this makeup look i'm literally so obsessed with this i know in the beginning this look was looking like a hot mess but this is pretty much the final result of this makeup look also some little feathers i'm gonna add to my hair the final result of this look it looks so good that's the final result of this look also if you guys recreate this look make sure you guys tag me on instagram and snapchat yeah, this is pretty much the final result of this makeup look. Again, I'm literally so obsessed with this. It looks so good. Also, I kind of wish I had ears to kind of like go with it. And also like an outfit and my hair is a lot longer and darker. But I kind of did a little bit of braids and uh, feathers kind of like add to it. But yeah, this is pretty much the final result of this avatar makeup look. Again, I'm literally so obsessed with this. It looks so good. So like this video. And also make sure you guys subscribe for it more because there is so much more down the line. Also, I know I'm not the best at face paint. But I do try my best and also I really have fun filming these videos. So yeah, this is the final result of this makeup look. And yeah, I really hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.